Hey everybody, um, today uh, we're going to do a different video than we normally do. Uh, we are here in my hometown where, where, where I grew up and I'm at my elementary school. It's called Forest Hills Elementary as you can see back here behind. Uh, there you go. The uh, reason why I'm here is because uh, today when you see in this video is um, one of my best friends uh, birthday um, he is no longer with us his name is Louis Nettle and right over there behind me where as you can see back there there's like a little playground back there it's where I first met him in kindergarten um, he was a great friend uh, basically uh, we met over there on that playground um, during recess and he it was like one of the um, days where we got happy meals because it was almost the end of, of the school year and I was new in school and I was introduced to him by a teacher and we sat on the playground and, and uh, ate uh, McDonald's together and we became instantly instantly friends now why am I doing this video well like I said, he uh, died when he was 28 years old, um, and you know I want to keep his memory alive. He was one of the reasons why I am as nerdy as I am. Uh, he was uh, first and foremost a video game nerd. He loved video games, loved, loved Nintendo, loved Sega. Um, uh, here in a bit, I'm gonna show you some footage of some games that he played and talk about why he was such a great gamer. He also was in the comics, he loved, he loved to draw. Um, and so I'm gonna talk about more about him, tell you some stories, and you know, we'll, um, and I'll tell you why you would have loved to know him. So let's go on to some other footage. So with, uh... As you can see, you're seeing some play gameplay of Resident Evil and Dead or Alive. The reason why I'm showing you this is because he was, um, both of these games were something that he really loved to play. Um, I would watch him play Dead or Alive over and over again, trying to get all the fruit. If you played the game before, you know what I'm talking about in the survival mode. He also would play Resident Evil and try to get unlocks on that. Uh, I wasn't really into video games until I met Louie, um, to be honest. I mean, he would talk to me in, you know, a lunchroom in school about video games all the time. Uh, he would be going on and on about uh, Mario and other um, Nintendo and Sega characters um, because, you know, he was a very big gamer. And this is before I even knew what gaming was because when I was growing up, we didn't have a gaming systems. Um, I saw I used to play Atari because my uncle had an Atari and I knew what Nintendo was but I didn't have one so I didn't have that experience so he would be telling me about cheats and stuff like you know how to get around things and I'd be like okay man that's cool and I didn't know what he was really talking about so but we didn't become really good friends until um, we I came back from Jacksonville I actually moved to Jacksonville as soon as I graduated high school and then I moved back to Walterboro, which is our hometown, um, about four years later, and I got to meet him again, and that's when we really started to become really good friends. Uh, some of the stories that I can tell you, uh, he was really funny, and I can tell you a lot of stories, but one of the best ones was we stopped, I was going to, to try to find a job, and we stopped at a gas station, and I walked in to get us a soda and he was being my navigator and when I came back out I was picking at him I said hey man look I got two sodas and he goes oh yeah well I got a map <laughs> that was his point of view uh, his humor um, I wanted to do this video in honor of him I know it's not gonna probably get too many likes or uh, comments um, but it helps it helps his memory stay alive because uh, he really was a great gamer. He would love the technology we have today, like um, PlayStation 4 and, play and Xbox One and 
all this new uh, virtual reality, it would blow his mind, you know, because he didn't have any of that. And I've become more and more nerdy um, because, you know, the technology is out there and, you know, and certain things like cosplay and stuff wasn't around when he was around. But uh, I want to make this video very uh, brief. I don't want to go on and on. But I did want to say happy birthday to Louie. Um, and I wanted to give y'all a little bit of uh, perspective of who he was. Um, thank you for sticking around and, and checking out this video. Uh, comment, um, you know, if you want to. Um, if you knew Louie, um, you know, tell, tell, tell some stories. Comment and give us some stories about some of the things that... Uh, he did the made that made you laugh and why he was such a great guy um, comment on uh, and, and like this video I know um, you uh, probably may not watch throughout the whole thing but I thank you for even bothering clicking on the video <clears throat> I'm, on, I'm only 11 I'm not even 11 I'm I think I'm nine now nine people away from the 300 subscribers so um, and I'm getting ready to I want to get to a giveaway when I hit 300 so um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so um, so I can go ahead and do that giveaway maybe you'll win something um, and this channel has always is and always will be dedicated to the memory of Louis Nettles uh, happy birthday man thank you for watching Peace.